having a great day today and let's get started. So these are all the things that you're gonna need for our first build. It's like a little archway, um, very fairy witchy vibes going on with this archway. I wanted it to be really cute, it's got mushrooms on it, so, but it's very easy, so I hope you guys enjoy this. So as you can see, we just start off with a circlet first, and then I'm going in here and just making it a little thicker around the edges, um, just like that, super easy, and then uh, just fill it in. Um, so these little bottom halves I wanted to make really fluffy, because they're like the anchors, you know, you, it's like all the like bushes and the plants at the bottom, and this little, these little bushes are going to hide our little mushrooms because unfortunately you have to have the um the little mushroom dirt for these so we're gonna shove them in the little holes and in, in little corners and stuff so they're not as noticeable so that's what these little bushes do and they just get balanced really so i'm just going in here with the bushes so the bottom doesn't look so flat i love that you can see the little the little branches and the twigs it just gives it more volume you know and we're gonna add some vines to make it look very overgrown and very magical I don't know these just add a really like whimsical touch and this is where we add our mushrooms so you can see the bushes do a really good job of like hiding the dirt so if you're walking flat, you can't even tell that it's there hardly, and that's what we want. So, And I'm also taking the light rods and adding a mushroom block to get these big mushrooms, and it also makes it glow at night time, so it looks really pretty and just very whimsical. And these bottom bushes do not have to be perfect. You can see I just tweaked it there because I wanted it to be able to cover, cover the dirt block. So just tweak them how you like them. They don't have to be precise and they definitely don't have to match each other. You know, the more crazy, the better, the more like overgrown and natural it looks. So you guys just have a fun time with this part. Just make those bushes as big or as small as you want. So here we're starting the pathway and you can see that I'm weaving like little patches of grass coming through and I don't know, I just think that looks more natural. But this is your build. You make your pathway however you want. If you want to add cobblestone patches or whatever, I just really like the, like the dirt path look of it. Um, especially with this texture pack, which is the ultra cute texture pack. Um, it looks like little animal print hooves, like little deer hooves. I don't know, it just looks really cute, so that's my choice. But you guys make that pathway however you like. And there you have it, our little fairy archway completed. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and now we're gonna move on to this little star pond. I love this little pond. 
Um, I created this pond idea when I was doing my moon cottage build. That tutorial video will be coming soon. Um, so I really loved how it turned out, so I wanted to make it for you guys in case you wanted to use it on some of your builds. So I'm just um, taking out some of the dirt here. There is no pattern for this. You do your pond however you would like. Um, I just wanted mine a little deeper uh, so I could put the double tall plants in there. I love the leafy plants, they just look so pretty. And here I'm just um, adding some brick walls. And I just think that looks nice, but again, you guys, if you want a dirt pond, go for it. If you want a different color, a different, just be creative with this. However you want it to turn out, um, you just go for it. I just want to give you guys the idea because I thought it was really cute, so, but you make this however you would like. These are the plants that I chose, but again, this is yours, you choose whatever you want to go in this. I just really like the overgrown, green, leafy, fairy, it's been there forever vibe. So that's what I chose, I chose all these pretty green plants, and um, even the kelp looks nice because it's just moving. I love things that add movement to Minecraft. like. Every house with a fireplace just looks so lovely, so I love the plants that move in the water. It just adds a little extra touch to it. Um, and here I'm just going in with the little glow vines to add more light and more texture, and I love that they look like little, I don't know, just little fairy plants. They just look so whimsical, so you can see mine is very full. If that's not your thing, again, do what you like. This is just an example. So I'm just going in with a few little plants that I really like to use um, around it. If you would rather have yours be just plain, again, yours. Make it however you like. If you want like a stone pathway around it, that would be really lovely. Um, but I just, I don't know. I love, I'm, I've noticed like the fairy builds always look so overgrown and like just tons of flowers and plants. And I love that look, so that's the look that I chose, but you do whatever is best for your build. Yay! Our Star Pond is done! Woohoo! Good job, guys! Um, if you do this, please tag me on my social media links. I'll put them in the box. Thank you for watching!